So a lot of people ask me, where are we with stem cells with Pogsies? When can I expect to have a stem cell transplant to repair my brain with Pogsies? And this is uh, you know, a good question. And I would say at the moment, the field is in a very exciting place, but we're not yet in clinic. And the first thing to say is you have to distinguish between what I think are gonna be the really pioneering trials, which are likely to help people, versus clinics which already exist and have existed for years, which offer at a price stem cell therapies, but which are largely uh, not regulated, not substantiated. And I would very strongly recommend people not to go to these clinics because essentially they're offering unproven, unregulated therapies that could make you worse. And in fact, people have died as a result of some of these interventions. Now the stem cell trials which I'm really excited about are the ones where we take stem cells and we turn them into dopamine cells and then we use those to replace the ones in the brain that are lost as a part of Parkinson's disease. And there's a group of us who meet every year to discuss how we're doing. There's a group from Europe, which I'm involved with, uh, with my colleagues in Sweden. And there's a group in America, particularly in New York, led by a person called Lorenz Studer. And there's a group in Japan, led by a neurosurgeon called Jun Takahashi. And over the last five years, we've met, we've discussed where we've got to, and the good news is we're getting very close to clinical trials. So within America, I would imagine that they will be doing a first in human study just to see how feasible, well tolerated and safe this is, probably this year, possibly beginning of next. In Japan, I imagine it will be next year that they'll be doing this. This will all involve very small numbers of patients. And in the UK and in Europe, we're applying for funding at the moment in order to manufacture the cells, test the cells with a view to going to a clinical trial, probably in a couple of years time. Then you may say, well, this all seems to be very slow. When will I get it? Well, the reason it has to be slow is of course, it's very, it's very novel. We don't know exactly how to do this. We have to show they're obviously safe and we believe they'll be very effective. So being slow and cautious at this stage is the best way of guaranteeing that if this does work as we expect it to, that ultimately down the line, this will be a treatment for everyone. So if you're thinking about stem cell trials, it's a good thing to think about. They will be coming to clinic in very small little studies in the next couple of years. But my hope is if those trials prove successful, pharma seem very interested in this, within a few years after that, bigger trials will be running with the hope that within a decade, these could become a more regular treatment for this condition.